auto mix is not cheating. It is not fake DJing. It is just a tool that is given to us DJ Pro users, and this is how you use it. A couple of ways to access the auto mix feature, and the first way is the most obvious, which is going to be to press the middle button here, and then in our modes, we are going to go there at the top. It's starter and auto mix. So we're going to click on auto mix. And now here we are going to be in the auto mix section. It is a lot different than the other sections because it's not really a DJing section. It's more of like a streaming service or a music player. So this is what we are going to do with it. We're going to press these three dots here. And now with auto mix, you have to have a playlist loaded up. Now to use auto mix, you either have to have a playlist loaded up and then it will only play songs from that playlist or you could set the match feature. I'll show you how to do both. So we are going to select playlist and now you could choose playlist from your streaming services. So these are my title playlist or we could go over to my collections and use playlist inside the app that we have made. So I'm going to select this playlist. So now this playlist is selected. So we have a couple of options. So we could stop the auto mix. So that's if you want to go hop back in, start DJing. You could, it, they make it very easily to go from manually DJing to auto mix so that you can mix it up and you could use, and you could do both styles in the same set. So we have stop auto mix right here, which is big. We have up next. So this shows us what song is going to come up next. Even though it is an auto mix, you still have control and you can still be supervising what's going on even though you're not physically doing the mix. So it does take skill and it does take talent. You have to know what song to play for the people next. And by seeing the up next, you could tell this one's a reggae vibe hip hop. If you look out into the crowd and you see uh, they don't really look like they like reggae, then you could you have a, you have the option of deleting it. So you see when we press it, we can delete it. And then now this regular loop is going to come. We don't want that one. Boom. Now the next one is white noise. This was a weird playlist, but whatever. So white noise is coming up or we could press here and we could add next. So now you could get a song from any one of your playlists, anywhere on your streaming service. Let me give you an example. So Disturbia, done. So now Disturbia is going to be on and then it will still stay in this playlist. It's not going to switch the playlist. But if you see a song that you think is going to work next, then you could do it that way. So with this plus button, you can either add next or you can add last. So you can pick a song that you want to come on at the end of the playlist. And then also while this is going, you could select the playlist and then you could switch the playlist. Now we'll replace songs in up next. So you have the option to either keep the up next. So if you like those songs in the up next section, you could keep it or you could replace it with the new playlist. And then the new playlist is going to be there. So you're not stuck with one playlist. You could, you could keep going and add more playlists. And then now over here, you could have it to, you could have it on shuffle or you could have it play straight through. So if you made your playlist in order and you think the songs will sound good mixed together in order, then leave it in order. If you didn't, then you can just leave it, leave it in shuffle and it will shuffle the songs and it will make sure not to play the same song twice. And then up here, these lines are going to represent where the, where the auto mix is going to start the mix. So mix it in. And then over here at the end is where it's going to mix out. It's different for each song and it uses AI technology in order to, to determine the correct places to start and to end the mix. And it does an extremely good job at it. Uh, sometimes it, it gets it a little off, but 90% of the time it sounds great. Now, if we want to adjust some settings, we can go over here, auto mix, hidden drop down menu. And again, we could stop the auto mix. So they give you a lot of ways to start and stop the auto mixes, which is good. Now we have transitions. You could choose which transition you want. There's a bunch of good ones, riser, echo, EQ, filter, fade. So if you choose that, it will use that transition every time it does a transition, which could get boring. So I recommend keeping it on auto. Now this is going to choose one of these 
transitions based on the song and based on the mix. It's not going to randomly choose it like it used to do in DJ2 or with other DJ or with other auto mix apps. It is going to choose it using AI technology. And it's really fun. Like if you're driving in the car, trying to discover new music to hear what transition it does. It's like having a DJ sitting in the front seat with you. Really cool. Next is duration. You can choose how long these transitions are going to be. I recommend keeping it on automatic and that's how you're going to get these lines there. That is what it's choosing. It does different. Sometimes it's a quick mix. Sometimes it's a long drawn out mix. Tempo adjust, morph or sync. If you find that your transitions sound a little off, if the BPM changes are off, try switching it from morph to sync. I've found that on morph it sounds better, but some people in the comments had problems with with the BPM sounding weird. So you could try putting it on sync and that might help a little bit. Song range, start and end. So automatic start, automatic end. That's what I'm talking about with those lines. And then use start and end point of songs if available. So you can make custom start and end points for each song, which I recommend you doing when you're preparing your songs. And with this setting on, then it will do the transitions when you programmed it. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. And then maximum song play duration you can change how much of the song you want to play. So if you want more of like a quick mix set, you could go, you could bring it down. Or if you want it to be play the whole song or most of it, you could bring it up. It's a really cool feature. I think this is new with the 5.0 update, but definitely if you want some quick mixes, that's a setting that you can change. So those are our settings. You could also adjust the BPM. So, so that is how you use this auto mix section of the app but you could also use it through any other section. So if we are in classic mode now, so we have auto mix selected. So up here, this come, uh, this only shows if you have auto mix on. So you see this here, auto mix is on. So auto mix will be going if, if you see this symbol, but if you stop auto mix, then it's gone. So you don't see it there. But if you wanted to quickly start an auto mix in classic or in pro mode, all you have to do is press the middle button and then right here. So instead of going to the to the next menu, you could do it right here. And then you could and then you could start the auto mix. And the cool thing is when it does these transitions, you are going to be able to see what's going on on the screen. So everything on the screen is active and it just does it for you. So let me try to show you guys. So you saw how the BPM and stuff changes, you see the crossfader. Uh, a cool tip, what I like to do if I'm having like a small party or having people over is I will connect my iPad to my TV and then have this auto mix going and then select the output to be to mirror the screen and then people can see all the transitions. I just think it's really cool. And you could also auto mix while you are playing, while you are DJing with music videos. So you could kind of have like M like an MTV TL TRL like back in the day with music videos playing. It's really cool. So to turn it off, you would just press stop. And then now you have auto mix going, but in whatever screen you want, while an auto mix is going, you could add effects, you could scratch, you could do all this stuff and still have it doing the transitions for you. So now I'm gonna show you how to select the start and stop points of your song. And there's two ways to do it. So here on the left, we have fireworks by Katy Perry. And then we're gonna go to our features over here, bottom left. We're going to the cue point section. So now this is a hidden feature, so pay attention. So we have cue, pitch, and slice. Notice at slice, there's no drop down menu, but when we press it, we get a hidden drop down menu. And then we go down to skip. And what skip does is it could skip forward, skip back. So if you're trying to find places to mix, but underneath it, we have auto mix, start, and, and end. So what I showed you there with that setting, if you have that selected, wherever you choose to start and end, it's gonna do it for you. And if you do this for all your songs in your playlist, you could almost make like a pre-recorded auto mix set, which is really cool. Let's just say we wanted to start it here. Boom, start it here. And it's gonna show in white our, our start cue point, but it's not a cue point, it's for auto mix. And then let's just end, say we're gonna end it here, end it there. So now, Anytime you load up this song and it's on auto mix, it is going to start where you want it to start or end where you want it to end. So if there's a cool lyric or a cool place to start the song that everybody knows, 
then you could do that. And then it's more customizable than just having it chose by the AI because you know the song probably better than the AI. So you could choose on all your songs. And whenever you are organizing your playlist and organizing your tracks like you should for every track that you plan on playing, definitely set your cue points, but also set your auto mix start and stop. It's really easy to do and really quick and it makes auto mix so much better. Next is going to be if we go if we go to one deck mode, this is this is new with the update and in one deck mode, we have the auto mix setting right here. So auto mix start, auto mix stop. So one deck mode is great for preparing your tracks and it's really cool that they added this auto mix feature in one deck mode. And if you want to learn more about one deck mode, check out this video over here.